So what if the seller trying to get their property sold, doesn't matter what price range, wants way too much for the property? Hey guys, it's Chris Prefontaine with another Thursday Q&A, and this one's a simple one, but it came in from one of our associates, uh, one of our immersion associates uh, out in Michigan, so I wanna go ahead and share it with you guys. His email said, I think it may have come from Slack actually, because we have all of our associates, if you're not aware, are on a private Slack channel where we're communicating and they get to communicate with each other literally every single day. A huge advantage for associates, side note. And the, the question came over to me on a private message on that platform that said, basically, I have a property, here's the property information sheet because we helped them analyze that. But the sellers, they're in the business, so they probably want an AO. Now, if you're not familiar with AO and you're new to this channel, you want to go ahead and grab our best-selling book, Real Estate on Your Terms, and or make sure you immerse yourself in the QLS course and you'll understand what this, the SW, the AO, the OF means. So an AO deal is basically where we assign out. We contract with the seller, we find the buyer, and we assign that deal out, meaning back to the seller. They then own the buyer. They then work on getting the financing, they do everything. We're out, we get an assignment fee, and we're done, uh, which is part of the down payment. And he said, they're in the business, so they want that. They want the AO, which is normal if they're in the business. Why do they need you in the middle, typically? But they want too much, and I'm not sure if I should do this. And to, to, my, to, to my surprise, because going through the QLS course, it goes through all these nuances. And guys, let me tell you this. On an AO deal, the reason I was able to do, say, 11 or 12 in six months when I first started the terms business over five years ago is because the AO is simple. You're not risking anything. You're not committing to payments. All you're doing is saying, whatever you want, I'm going to take it to the market and see what my buyers will respond to. I'm going to take it to the market and see what I can get for you. I'll let you know. Give me 90 days or whatever it is you guys agree to. I wouldn't agree to less because you've got to ramp it up a little bit and it takes some time. So, so the bottom line is take it to the market. Don't set the wrong expectation saying I can get this sold. Say, look, you're asking all the money. You and I know that, especially if you're in the business. The comps don't lie. You and I don't make the comps up. But let me take it to the market and see what I can do. Now, a couple things that can happen here. One, you take to the market by, to the surprise of both of you that the buyer steps forward and you collect a nice deposit, you follow the AO package that's in our QLS course, and you assign it back to the seller via your attorney. Simple. Um, number two, it could happen. Nothing happens. You're 60 or 70 days in. You have a 90-day window. They, at the same time as someone that might be in the real estate business, didn't sell it. So now you go back to them. You have an opportunity to go back to them. There's nothing written in stone and say, look, I know you wanted X. You and I both knew that was pushing the limit a little bit. I haven't found anyone. I'm hearing crickets. So why don't we do this? Why don't we adjust the monthly a bit? It's usually not the price, guys. It's usually the monthly. Why don't we adjust the monthly a little bit? And it might be 100 or 150. And to the seller, that might be nothing. But to your buyer market, let me tell you that it's a world of difference. So if you're hearing crickets and you're not getting activity, what do you do? You pick up the phone, you call them, you do a reduction, and you ask for 60 more days. That's it. Uh, that'll tell you by the, t by the end of that run, if you don't have someone, you tell them this too. By the end of that run, if I don't have someone, I'll give you the property back. I'm the first one to tell you. I don't want to keep this thing if it's not selling. We both think we can get it done. Now, one of the other reasons, by the way, before I uh, wrap up this week's session, um, that you would do an AO. Well, you might do an AO, that, that scenario is perfect, but you also might do an AO if there's no spread. You know, you might see a property and there's either no equity or no spread or both. And so all you can do is collect your payday one or a piece of it, depending on what you negotiate, and then give it back to the seller. Um, there are some arguments, by the way, I don't want to leave you on that note thinking you can't do it as a sandwich if it doesn't have a spread. There are some uh, circumstances right now, we have properties right now that have very little to no spread, but we stay in them as a sandwich. Why? Well, it might have a big back end. It might have a huge principal pay down. So, so you might make zero or fifty dollars a month in your payday two, but your payday three is going to be dramatically increased by the amount of principal pay down in the monthly mortgage payment you're making. That's important. So there are always exceptions to the rule, but in general, if you have no profit centers there, take your AO fee and, and move on. So I hope that helped you guys. If you haven't um, gotten all your questions answered, please type them below. I want to hear from you. We don't answer all the emails. We don't necessarily create a video for every question you ask, but I'll either get back to you on the actual screen when you ask, or I'll film a video just for you or someone on our team will. Also, 
Be sure to subscribe. We have the Sunday deal structure. We have the these here that you're on, the Thursday Q&A. Um, and we also have the Motivational Monday. That'll tie you to all three of those. While I get your attention, please be sure to also subscribe to the Smart Real Estate Coach Podcast.com. And whether you're in QLS or not, the QLS video program, make sure you get your ticket to the QLS live event. It's free with QLS video program. If not, go on to our site, smartrealestatecoach.com and grab your ticket by yourself and I'll see you there.